Hey guys, my name is Tithin Ashnari and today we are going to install the first flight ROM version 4 and 4.5 on the Galaxy S4i 9500. So first of all, we are just going to power off our device. And now we are just going to go into the custom recovery. To do that, we are just going to press volume up key, home key and power key at the same time. And now we are going to let go of the power key. And as you can see that the device is booting into the custom recovery right now. And now we are going to go in wipe and we are going to select the advanced wipe and we are going to select the Dalvik cache, cache, system, data and preload and we are going to swipe to wipe. And if you want to wipe your internal storage as well so you can select the internal storage and we are going to swipe to wipe. So we are going to go back back and back and we are going to go in install and we are going to select the micro SD card because the ROM is in my micro SD card. And first of all we are going to install the first flight Note 7 themed version 4. And we are going to swipe to confirm flash. And it does come with the Aroma installer as well. So we are going to go next next and next. And we are going to full wipe and next. And we are going to agree next and next. And I'm going to select the removed apps like first flight v3 next and I'm going to select the S4 camera enable the heads up notification normal sound by perform Android and uh, exposed framework as well next and we're going to install now And now we're gonna go next and now we're gonna reboot the device. If you do get stuck in the boot loop, all you have to do is just reboot the device. So I'm just gonna take out my battery, reinsert it and then start up the device. And this is a new kind of Samsung animation. Before it used to be the background used to be black and the Samsung logo used to be white. So we are just going to wait for the device to boot up. So the device just booted up and it is now optimizing the apps. And if your device gets stuck on the Samsung logo, you just need to reboot the device and you will be good to go. So we are just going to quickly set up the device. And now we are just going to go into settings. And as you can see that the Android version is 5.1.1 which is lollipop and the kernel is permissive and now we are just gonna install the version 4.5 on top of it so it is a tutorial about how to update the first flight ROM version 4 to the version 4.5 as well so we are just gonna go and restart and we are gonna select the recovery and we are gonna press ok And now we're gonna go and install and we're gonna select the micro SD card because the ROM is in my micro SD card. And now we're gonna select the first flight version 4.5 OT update and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. And we're gonna reboot the device. The device does stop optimizing apps.
and now let's get into settings and now as you can see that the ROM version is 4.5 and the kernel is permissive and I think that's it thanks for watching guys